there is actually quite, the UK, the United Kingdom is quite interesting because it actually has a bit of a framework for, um, and guidance, uh, which is quite progressive for how you need to set up and the standards you need to meet to run an online GP service. Um, and over the past, I guess, probably five years, um, there's been an increasing number of online GPs that have popped up. And I think what the government has realized um, is that they need to almost give special attention for a while to that sector because it's emerging. Um, so the Care Quality Commission, which is the regulator, the national regulator that covers all of the UK, um, they've actually come out with some very detailed guidance. Um, you know, recently, they've been inspecting digital providers differently to how they have before, um, more stringent inspections and more guidance on the standards that need to be met. So I think there is some guidance out there. Uh, I think at its core though, you, it's no, not that different to running a, you know, a, GP, a traditional GP practice or running a hospital. You still need to make sure that you're treating patients safely, you're treating their data, keeping it private, keeping it secure. You need to have the same sorts of governance systems. So at the company we started, we have a medical director. She you know, does appraisals of her doctors. She makes sure that there's clinical audit to improve the quality of what we do. Uh, the main difference is that because we do it online rather than face-to-face, -face, we just need to make amendments for that. But the fundamentals are still the same. Good governance, good leadership, good data, you know, good IT infrastructure.